Hey guys, things are looking more exciting than ever with several new but useful vendor add-ons that will surely help and improve your workflow. Ranging from simulations, adding imperfections, building cities, and even large libraries. And with these, I'm sure you will find something interesting in today's list. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Blender market is having right now a huge sale, where you can save 25% or more on over 11,000 Blender add-ons, courses, models, you name it. And by the way, if you don't know where to start, you will find a list in the description of this video with the best add-ons in all categories. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with Liquifeel which in simple terms is a blender add-on that lets you fill your objects with all sorts of liquids without having to manually go through the process of painfully simulating it yourself. For example, with this add-on, you can create a glass filling animation using one simple slider, which is just amazing. To top it off, it comes with over 30 plus realistic cycle shaders that are fully customizable for all sorts of different liquids that you might want to use in your projects, especially in commercial projects where you work for clients, like water, olive oil, tea, juice, and so much more. This add-on also comes with a couple of 3D models of glass balls in addition to cups, which are gonna be useful to make such scenes. One thing to note is that the add-on works with a specific type of mesh, meaning that your mesh needs to have thickness. Also, it should have an opening and it should be a single island mesh. Still with generating and making simulations, let's take a look at Explode Effects, which is, in a nutshell, a large asset library of over 370 plus VDB elements of all sorts of visual effects like explosions, fire, smoke, and even tornadoes. What makes this animal really useful is the procedural shaders that are equipped with it, which will help you take your volumetric elements to the next level. But the thing is, you should be the judge of how good it is based on the comparison that you have on the screen with regular Blender volume shaders. But a couple of things to take into consideration before you get this add-on is that it is only compatible with cycles for the moment. And when it comes to rendering time, well, you know how it is with volumes. So a bit of patience can be really useful. Now, from the same creators, we're gonna take a look at something a bit different with Detail Effects. Detail Effects is another library of a whopping 400 plus node groups that can be used to add details and imperfections to your perfectly boring materials. The good thing is the level of customizability that comes with it, with settings to adjust the threshold of your imperfections, in addition to the seed, coordination, and so much more. And of course, these node groups are using high quality and seamless maps so that you can easily tile and get interesting and cool looking results. On a side note, we just published a video about the best add-ons for imperfections and adding details that can make your scenes and models look realistic. So I recommend you check it out. Now let's move to something different with large scale projects. ICD simply lets you pack all the necessary features and assets to tackle the process of generating large and detailed cityscapes. First thing, generating your city layout is as simple as texturing a bunch of curves and connecting them to dictate where to generate buildings. And did I mention that every little aspect of this add-on is actually procedural and gives you a lot of control. Starting from the basic main features like your roads and buildings to small little imperfections like water puddles, trash scattered around your roads, signs, benches, and over 300 plus other assets that can be scattered throughout your scene. Now, with the topic of adding imperfections again, we have a new add-on called Quick Roughness. This should be actually self-explanatory, but let me tell you what it does anyways. It simply enables you to mix between different layers of roughness imperfections to mimic the look of real-life weathering effects. For instance, you can add scratches, dust, and smudges at the same time. And the good thing about the add-on is that it gives you full control over every layer of your effects like brightness, contrast, and reach, as well as the ability to invert it all together. Also, the add-on includes a nice little feature called Entile which helps randomize your textures a bit more to get interesting looking results. 
but use it with a pinch of salt to avoid exaggeration. In a similar vein, we have smart weathering. But wait till you hear more about this one. Smart weathering brings all the necessary tools to add weathering effects to your objects and scenes. And when I say everything, I mean it, because these are some of the examples of the effects it can achieve. And they include dirt, smudges, dust, wetness, wear, and other custom effects. But the best part is you can edit every aspect of every effect right within the interface. And to make it even better, this add-on applies fully procedural effects so that you won't even have to UV unwrap the models. And if you happen to require baked maps, well, guess what? You can also do that by specifying which maps to bake. Now, away from adding imperfections, we have a new add-on called Auto Rig and Ragdoll Wizard. This one kind of automates the creation of armatures, ragdolls, and soft body simulations. And it is really simple to use. Just click Create Armature and adjust bone settings before applying. Similarly, for a ragdoll, select the object and click Generate Ragdoll. Then find the settings and play around with this simulation. And the good thing, it runs in real time allowing for the creation of multiple clones in a short period of time. But it goes beyond just characters, because it can simulate various deformations like vehicles and vegetation, which enables realistic destruction effects. Now, let's change the subject a bit and talk about an add-on that will help you boost your productivity. And this one is called Easy Projects. With this add-on, I think setting a project is gonna be faster because it's gonna save you time and the hassle of doing many things. You can, for example, customize your presets to fit your needs, ensuring consistency that is gonna be valuable if you work on a lot of projects. In addition, it can boost your productivity by automating repetitive tasks and settings, like letting you focus on your efforts instead of playing around with settings every time, from animation to 3D models to simulation and any other type of project it can help you automate tasks and be more efficient. Another important thing to be efficient at is cloth simulation with this new add-on called Cascade. In a nutshell, it brings a library of cloth simulated assets that can help you create animations. Made with extra attention to detail, this add-on offers a drag and drop functionality so that you can easily build complex cloth effects which can save you time of doing the simulation yourself. The good thing is that Cascade is compatible with Vendor's asset browser. And as a bonus, it includes a pack of 55 textures, which is nice to have. So with over 37 real-time simulations and more to come hopefully in the future, I think Cascade can bring a lot of different possibilities, from character animations to architectural renders and more. Last but not least, we have Falcon Cam which is all about improving your camera movements with adding presets and customizable movements to add speed and focus control. Generally speaking, you can easily adjust trajectory curves and camera orientation. And using it, you can also use presets. And all you gotta do is press create and add the desired camera animation to your scene just like that. Also, for even more control, select an empty track and use the graph editor to adjust the intensity of the animation. You can also create powerful animations by attaching keyframes to the camera's Z rotation as explained in the example shown by the developer. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.